Hi friends, today I have a story for you about a dog and a donut. So everybody last week got this book. So if you want to page along with me, you can have your book there and you can turn the pages as I read. Here is our title page. Everybody find your title page if you have your book. Your title page. The title of this story is If You Give a Dog a Donut. The author who writes the words is Lisa Nemeral. The illustrator who draws the pictures is Felicia Bond. Ding! That means turn the page. Here's your first page. This is what it looks like. If you give a dog a donut, He's going to want some apple juice to go with it. When you give him the juice, he'll drink it all up. Gulp. Then he'll ask for more. There won't be any left, so he'll want to make his own. He'll go outside to pick apples. When he's up in the tree, he'll toss you one. Throwing the apple will make him think of baseball. And he'll want to play too. You'll have to get a ball. And a glove. Of course, he'll also need a bat. He'll ask you to pitch. He'll hit a home run out of the park. There it goes. Then he'll do a happy dance to celebrate. Look at that happy dance. He's so happy he hit a home run. Dancing will make him hot and dusty, so he'll need some water. He'll probably start a water fight. You'll have to dry him off with your bandana. wrap it around his head and pretend he's a pirate. Oh, that silly dog. Then he'll want to go on a treasure hunt. Pirates reminded him of treasure hunts. He'll find a kite and want to make one himself. You'll have to get him some sticks, paper, and string. When his kite is finished, he'll want to fly it. It will go higher and higher. Ding! Until it gets tangled in the apple tree. The tree will remind him of apple juice, so he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if he asks you for some apple juice, he'll want a donut to go with it. And then he'll start all over again. The end. Great, everybody. Have a great night. See you later.